Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 3. We are continuing the campaign where we're halfway through the Rustic Barrens. And in all the levels in these worlds, we're given parts of the bridge that we can't actually delete. So everything there is locked in place. We cannot move any road. In fact, we don't even have any road that we can build ourselves. So we've got to use this weird shape, which I feel like has probably been architectured. And of course, us the engineer, we have to put it together to make sure it works. Now we're given a 31 grand budget, but as engineers, we like to push things to the limit, use as little money as possible, and then we can spend what's rest down the pub. So we are given wood which costs 180 per meter you can see steel costs 450 per meter so generally we'll be trying to use wood there is also the brand new material of polybridge 3 the foundation which costs 15 grand plus 900 quid per meter basically the taller it is the more it costs so essentially we won't be using that because we're tight engineers so to start with i'm thinking well i'm seeing under here we've got anchors so we can use those how heavy actually is this thing six polygrams it's not actually that heavy but it is quite a big span i am just wondering could i get away with oh no i don't think i can oh no maybe i can maybe i can will a truss hold oh no a truss doesn't even hold at all i mean the curves going on really doesn't help this so if we add some under supports like perhaps do do a bit of that on that side a bit of that on that side then we've made the bridge span and shorter which means it holds will it hold that no in a word so that's because you broke i'm just wondering if i move that to the side and do something like that then we sort of made that stronger is this any better oh nearly 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 oh no okay so what actually broke then it was it was you why would you break and um, i think if we bring that down and just try and make the force as it comes like down here we want it to go straight into there i think because it was going up the force was sort of like ah trying to get around a corner you want to ideally make your forces a little bit straighter in these so let's see is that any better no that's actually worse matt okay but if i just make the bit that broke which was that bit if i make it a little bit shorter then it should be stronger because essentially the force that was coming down there is being split into two different beams therefore only half the force is going along so essentially that should be stronger so if we watch this you can see we're under half budget which is good i mean technically we haven't failed technically um <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay i think that's job good and i'm gonna i'm gonna go home it's uh it's friday afternoon time to knock off early car definitely made it across sorted no so again that bit broke so i can try and make it even shorter but essentially as long as the force is still coming down there this little piece cannot hack it so i either need to make that steel or i need to add more wood yeah to make it stronger so i think what i'll do i'll do that and then do that. So now the weight and the force that's coming down there should be split between two different nodes. So that should be a lot stronger. Will it work though is the question. I mean, we made it, but the bridge collapsed. All right, well, after a bit of tweaking, I finally got it to work. I had to put a little bit of steel in. So 14,865. We're in the top 16%, so not terrible, but uh, we can do some shaving on this. So first off, we probably want to watch this with the stress on and we can see... Yeah, a lot of this isn't actually needed. So particularly if you look at this part, we've sort of got like double the bracing. You can see in the middle, we got truss over the top. But on these sides, you've got underneath and on top. And if you watch the force, you can see because they stay green, it means they're not being stressed. So we can probably remove at least that. So if we play that now um well either way i'm still pretty sure we don't need like either of those on the end so essentially our bridge will probably end up looking somewhat like this and we've saved a lot of money there um so i'm just thinking if i try and like smooth this because i basically want the force to go from down there like over sort of like that i feel like i may need to use like this bottom curve because at the moment if you look at like if you think about the force in here it's going to travel along this beam straight down into that anchor but going the other direction it sort of has to twist back up so that's why i had that piece in initially but that's quite a lot of extra extra wood and stuff i'm also thinking as well on this side i can sort of see sort of bouncing over there so because i know that this is going to be stronger than like the middle truss maybe worth doing like that support underneath rather than on top because essentially that's going to mean we have a shorter 
ban. Oh, did you see that? That was way stronger already. I'll tell you what then. Let's just make these a little bit bigger. Oh, look at... Oh, that was nearly decent. We saved so much money. So what broke over this side? It was you. Let's just make this a bit bigger. Oh, it worked. It worked. Okay, that's good. We can save a lot more still, I reckon. But we're now in the top 2%. We're 99th in the world. Uh, let's just have a little look. Where did Tyler get on? Oh, we beat Tyler. We beat Aliens Rock already. Decent. But yeah, I've barely, barely trimmed this. So if we watch a a lot of this isn't going actually is going quite very red actually i didn't think it was going to but i'm pretty sure we can like trim like that corner down a bit i feel like in here do i need that so i've got that as a wall brace i could potentially bring it like away because that's a lot cheaper does it still oh it doesn't quite have the strength that bit of road breaks now as a wall brace it's like 579 if it's not a wall brace i save like 70 quid can we find a point where it works no i think we're just going to need a wall brace there all the time now uh, the question is though do we need both of those because i could probably delete that and although this can move i don't think it can actually move because of this end if that makes sense so yeah look it's still holding is it strong oh it is not strong enough it is not strong enough now uh, does this need to be there now i've got the steel down the bottom could we get away with like that or oh, you can see it's like orange already oh it was close it was actually quite close. Oh, I wish I could just change the road just to make it a bit smoother. Damn, architects. Look, I just want to be under 10 grand. Um, I guess I get rid of that piece. It's worth a try. Getting rid of that one didn't work. Oh, that one did work. Okay, that's good. Question is, can I get rid of like that piece perhaps? Like structurally, that could work. It's just whether it's strong enough. Uh, what about... Probably not that. What about that one? Because this can't go anywhere. This is like... This is rigid because it's a muscle. So although that looks looks like a hinge it shouldn't actually move anywhere so, oh 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 it made it but it broke all right what if i just make this bit of steel a little bit longer it's so frustrating because it gets across so easily but the bridge is gone and we can't have that we're an engineer bridges must be more than one use okay then apart from that i'm just going to lower these a little bit then i think we're we're, go we're gonna stop here 10,135 you can see gets across everything goes pretty red where are we on that leaderboard we're 63rd and the actual cheapest was 7400 what okay let's head into the gallery and see how they did it so 7700 in the gallery oh that is actually the same person why of course okay that's actually i mean it breaks it breaks that shouldn't be allowed but i'm pretty sure they had a cheap one that didn't break it's just not in the gallery why does the gallery why does the gallery show me like the breaking options i don't want to see that ain't nobody got time for that uh, here's another cheap one. Oh yeah it's just literally just trying to use like the smallest amount of wood possible uh, they actually went down to that bottom anchor which i didn't and theirs is like way cheaper than mine so sometimes it does pay to like to build further because it means you can get away with doing less up here i guess yeah it looks like every Everyone's sort of gone down to that one. Hey, even this guy. How is that cheaper than... Look how much steel there is down there. How is that cheaper than mine? Like, look at this one. Two grand cheaper than mine, but it's got that huge length of steel. I'm sort of annoyed at myself because I feel like I, I said, like, the force needs to go, like, in a straight line down to that bottom node. And then I just didn't do it. You've got to listen to yourself, Matt. Anyway, this one is almost the same price. I think this guy is, like, above me in the leaderboard, like, by one position. He's got a bit of, like, rope tension going on there. Holding this beam in place because it's just two muscles so that would like fall if that rope wasn't there but it's rope made out of wood so fair play also on the left side he's only got a single wall brace he didn't use the anchor very sneak and cheapy anyway now we're heading to the other end of the gallery and the gallery's so broken still <laughs> <laughs> like these are sorted by budget for some reason like page 10 i think is the same as page one again and then there's a page 11 which is the same thing again still at least on page nine we have a happy face <laughs> look at that we have rce propaganda hanging from a bridge love to see that we have a very trusty solution to this problem and oh you would not expect that to be the most expensive solution just a normal truss on top. Oh, they use the foundation. There's a foundation down there. Okay, I understand now. I feel like that's the only replay I've seen with foundation in it. Anyway, there's probably more replays, but unfortunately, Gallery is still having an architect moment. So let's go to the next level. Smooth roads. So what 
have we got here? Okay, so we've got that, which is all... Yeah, it costs zero, so we can't change any of that. You can see the padlocks. That is locked in place. But down here, although that's been built for us, we can literally say... No, not having that. And then we try and build our own. I assume if we press play, does that bridge... Yeah, that bridge just fails. Top one works perfectly, though. So I guess to start, can we just copy the top one? So nice, that gets that start. That one stops, and then we've got to get over there. Okay, what if we copy this, but give it a rotate? So it's the same bridge, it's just on the wonk and a little bit shorter. On the wonk is a technical term, by the way. But does that survive up there? Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's the easy way to solve this. If I was speed running, that's what I'd be doing. Somehow I'm still in the top 28%, uh, but we're two and a half thousandth in the world. And I used to be a real civil engineer. So let's use some engineering to make this cheaper. Now, as we know, the, the roads are pretty strong in this game. So what I'm thinking, if we do some sort of arch with the with the roads, we can say boosh. And then if we trust that up, it's a bit smoother than it was before. Let's just see, is that strong enough and high enough? Yes, it is both. Stress went up to 90 seven percent there though uh, what i'm thinking these end ones we can probably we can probably come down quite a lot because we've got we've got the arch taking a lot of the force here i mean ideally i want to make the bridge shorter as well by doing a doing a wall brace underneath so does that work it breaks what if we do a bit of that instead okay that works that does work until the other side. But if we make it symmetrical... Oh my goodness, it all fell. Is that not symmetrical? Or is that not a wall brace? Is that not... Maybe that wasn't touching. Oh, I don't know. It just keeps doing like a Mexican wave sort of thing. Okay, well, maybe we'll stay on top on this side then. And if we watch it with the stress on... Oh, we can see these, like, they can come way down. They were bright green. So bring that one down as well. Okay, so for now, I think that's pretty cheap. We're under 20 grand now. We've just got this bridge to fix. Look, <laughs> look how much bigger it is than this one. Let me just see. If I were to delete that, can we get away with doing a straight? I'm going to imagine not, because it's not going to be high enough. But if we just push those into there, then we can build a really simple truss. And we're just keeping an eye on how low we are. I mean, it completely failed. I mean, the truss is a bit bigger. Okay, so we're quite a bit lower, actually. So again, we're going to want to add a bit of a curve. If I unlock the tangents, I can make the I can make this side a bit smoother. So let's see if we just go boosh and do that. Then that should be okay. We'll try and support this from underneath on this side, probably to about there, and then we'll flip onto the top. I mean, maybe we'll go underneath on this side, add another wall brace. Hmm, something I'm noticing on this level, like if I grab this and I push it right to the side, so it can't go left any further, that should be a wall brace. But when I press Press play. Can you see it moves? Like if we watch this dead on, look at the angle and actually look at the movement. It moves. So you can't do wall braces on the middle for some reason. Interesting. Anyway, we did that for 16,000. No, that's 18,000. We did that for 18,645. We're 240th. And I haven't really had a go with this side yet. Well, and, and we had that piece, which is a, a piece we don't need. But maybe that's why my wall brace down here, why it was so like wobbly. We can't wall brace to the middle. How random is that? Anyway, with these, we probably just want to try and smooth it up a bit, make them all a bit smaller. In fact, maybe I actually want some arch to like give the road some strength. Although to be honest, we're in the top 2%. Did we beat Tyler? Oh no, what? He's 41st. 17,400. Ooh, that is cheap. I feel like my lack of wall support is really hurting me on this one. Like, is that just a me bug or does that actually happen? I am just wondering as well, would it be worth like, because we know road is 300 quid per meter compared to just 180. So if we were to get rid of a bit of road, could something like that work? I mean, actually, we're still well over budget compared to Tyler's. Hmm, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I have a sort of idea here. So if I ended up on road like there, and technically I don't need to do a truss from there. I only need to start like there-ish. Oh, do you reckon that's how you do this one? Oh wait, no, I'm talking nonsense. I'm talking nonsense. I do need to do a truss down to there. And then we're still up to 18 grand. No, I don't think this is the way to do it. It's just, there's too much going on over this end. I feel like the wall braces do not work at all though. It feels like they're moving. Let's double check that I can't do a wall brace over this. 
side. There's so much movement. It's like it's not actually a wall brace. I think there's a glitch on this level, devs. Anyway, we're under 18,000. I have no idea how I can get this any shorter without like losing pieces somewhere. But uh, I feel like without wall braces, I can't do it. So we're going to say that is a loss. We can't win them all. Let's have a look in the gallery. Oh, I came 100th. Yeah, I'm in the top 100. That will do. Cheapest price was 15 grand, apparently. So let's have a look in the... Oh, no. What? That's what I was trying to do. How did they do? That's what I was trying to do, wasn't it? I guess because they did a straight road rather than a curved one. Because you only get your strength in an arch if you... Well, if you connect to both sides. If you're dangling from one side, you want that to be as straight and diagonal as possible. So the force goes into the into the side. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't believe how close I was to actually coming up with it. You know, this one. Hang on. Have they got a wall brace down there? How did they get a wall brace down there? Oh, I'm getting all moany now. Oh, no, look, look. There's no, there's no wall brace down there. Stop moaning, Matt. Stop moaning. You sound like an architect. Anyway, these ones... Oh, they just went straight underneath. Usually on these levels, building underneath isn't as strong. That's like why I went over top initially. Uh, this one... Oh, look. That's supported from the other side. And then they've got the drop there as well. And they've got a gap at the end. Yeah, it's all about trying to reduce your number of road pieces. And yeah, again, this one... Oh, they didn't hang it, but they did just did do the gap underneath. It's all about the gaps. It's all about the gaps. Okay, let's head to the last pages, see if there's any bilfs about. Now, gallery goes up to page 10 out of 9, but that's about it, unfortunately. So I guess we're going on to the next level. Meet me in the middle. So here in the middle, we have... Oh, okay, we literally just got to meet that in the middle. Interesting. Oh, we're going to have to support it. Yeah, it's not supported by anything. Well, I'm sort of thinking first bet is we just do that with you and then that with you. And then we can get two roads up to there and then a third on top and over this way. I'm sort of thinking, as we've just learned, let's just go... Well, if we go up, that will be cheaper because our bridge is probably going to be between those two. And then we just we just drop down onto it. So I feel like something like that should be the cheapest way of doing this. Let's start trussing up. So we know we can just do Xs. They are pretty cheap. Or we may need to move you a little bit. There we go. We shouldn't need those cross beams. There should be enough rigidity there. So something like that could work. It's very, very cheap. It also could completely fail. I mean, the entire bridge is just supported by those two bits on that side. So maybe we'll need like one underneath, perhaps. I don't know. For now, let's see. Oh, it's working. It's work. Oh, it's not working. <laughs> Also, ew, why is that water so brown and pooey? Anyway, what broke? Oh, you broke over here, did you? Let's just have a look at the stress and see what's going on. You can sort of see the stress move. Okay, we ideally need to get you like upstairs. I mean, what if I delete that bit? Um, Just complete carnage. Okay, so we do need that piece in. Oh, it's just so much force. Okay, I'm just wondering if I lower that slightly and connect to there. Is that going to help enough? Oh, that made it way worse. What was that bit? Okay, what if I just put a blocker on this guy just to like slow him down a little bit? So bottom car goes on its own first. Okay, that works fine. And then I just ideally want that to like cheese it and allow him to drop down. So if we do that, you can see it's moving. So that should give us time. No, he's trapped. He's trapped. This could work though. It might be a bit cheesy. We have to remember this isn't real life. This is just polybridge. I'd never do this in real life. This is not a typical bridge solving solution. Right, okay, blue is off. And then this guy goes, oh man, but it fails. Right, did it fail because it's bouncing? Like you can see the force, it's like rocking. Oh, it's going so red. Oh, 90. Oh, actually, actually, we may have done it that time. Speed back up. Oh, we completed the level. <laughs> 14,200. Oh, we're 92nd. I mean, it's good. It's top 2%. It's not great. Did we beat Tyler? 35th. What? Okay, back to the drawing board. What can we do to save money? I mean, I feel like this jump, like, we can literally, like, go back to, like, there-ish, probably. Basically, the, the longer this jump, the better, because it's cheaper. And also, if I can bring it higher as well, that is also cheaper. All right, I'll tell you what, I feel like I'm going to have to do some tweaking on this one. So it's time for you guys to enjoy a montage. Make, Make a way, way through the CAD design building bridges that will surely shine. Calculations my game, but architects well, but architects just want the fame. I don't need you. I don't want you. 
You are an architect If you could be an engineer Then I would buy you a beer Cause you know I'd walk a thousand miles While architects just sit and smile Okay, so after... I spent so long doing this, just like trial and error and whatever I could. Basically, I had to replace some parts that were being stretched, like that bit of wood there and my truss up here with a rope, because rope's slightly better in tension than wood is, but it does cost a little bit more as well. Uh, but this is what we came up with. You can see we've minimized the road by having a steep ramp at the end. You can see down this end, our jump only just about makes it, but we beat Aliens Rock by 100 quid and we're 27th in the world. So I think time to have a look in the gallery. How did we... How is that so cheap? What? They managed to save like well over a grand. What? Hang on. What did they actually... So that end isn't connected underneath. You see, they've got a rope up that side the same as mine. They have some funky trussage going on there. And then on the left, they've got like a cable. What? That does make me think though. Did I Did I actually need that piece? If I delete that... Okay, yes. On my bridge, I did. But I guess you could delete that and then connect those two. Not with rope with wood and then yeah that's just as rigid but well, it's just as strong as well so that means you can bring these up which is a lot cheaper i'm assuming it's still as strong yeah okay so that's how they save money on that end that's pretty good actually i mean yes i have just copied but it got me to 18th without even trying really and yeah you can see lots of people did that technique at this end because that makes a much cheaper sort of truss i mean it doesn't look like a truss it looks like a mess but it's pretty good this i don't understand how's that one so cheap i think that's rope where i had rope and then rope there as well it's just like i don't know how it's so much cheaper or do oh look they don't have a piece there on mine i've got that piece but they don't i assume mine will just break if i play that right yeah yeah some very cool techniques there some other ones we have all right it's so this one they've got some rope holding it in place we've got a road wall support under there oh and then we have some rce propaganda look at that hanging down that helps with the aerodynamics to hold the bridge in place when there's like strong winds and stuff that's clever that is this one look they said no, we do not need your piece of road. I'll build my own. Hi, RC, it says this one. We've got, oh, look, Damo and Jimmy Dog are back. <laughs> the Poly Bridge 2 veterans. Oh, and is that, is that a bridge to dinner? So Jimmy Dog goes across <laughs> to get his dinner. Look, there's a little dinner bowl at the end. This one ran me. There's loads of elephants underneath. That is strange. And this one, there's loads of like, they look like cats or something. Like, like big cat heads. Oh no, I hope this person isn't a poacher. And that's like their hall of like dead animal heads. Anyway, the next level is called Dangling Roads. Oh no, not. Why are we encouraging this, devs? Unless, let's actually have a look at the level. What the? F Why is there a dangling? What? It's just a hanging bit of road in the middle. All right. Well, what I'm thinking of this one, let's just do a bridge for this bottom car. We should probably make it so that it goes under that. So if we give it a bit of a down curve and then just go push, then hopefully that will fit underneath. And then the top bridge that will, well, hopefully this will just like flap. Like the lorry will sort of push it out the way. So I'm hoping wall braces will work on this. So let's give that a try. Give that a try. Push them right in the corners. Then we just want to truss this up. Uh, but I don't want to connect to that road. No, no, no. So we want to end up with something like that. Is that strong enough? No, it is not. Uh, it's the bits on top that are breaking. Let's just steal them up for now. I just want to see if this works. Okay, so we end up with... Oh, we're way below. Okay, we're way below that road. I'll tell you what then. I might bring the road up a little bit. Can I just do a straight do you think? Nah, surely that will touch. Surely that will touch. Let's very slightly go down. Boosh. But okay, that's good. We fit underneath there. Next up, we need to do a bridge for this truck. Now, what I'm sort of thinking, if I want to try and save material, I also want to hit this as low as possible. So can I just replace like the top of this with road? Because we sort of know that road is stronger than wood anyway. So maybe that will like do the steel situation as well. So something like that. We're going to have to end up up there somehow. So I Ideally, I mean, could I just do like that sort of thing to hold that end? Potentially, we just got to support this end quick. So, oh, this is going to be really, really steep. Something like that, though. So wall brace there. Okay, so how is that looking? Oh, no, did you see that? It got stuck in the tube. This oh, no. 
how did I plan that so badly? So yeah, we may have to come down with all of these then. Similar to what the bridge looked like initially, annoyingly. Right, okay, I think that fits now. Kind of hard to tell because everything else is breaking. Right, okay, so I've massively reinforced this with steel and stuff. I just want to make sure it works. So yeah, that drives through the road. Oh, it doesn't make it. Okay, so you broke. Let's just replace that with steel for now. I'm pretty sure though, this is how you want to do this level at least if you're trying to go cheap okay so pretty good 26 grand i imagine we can save a lot of money here what what, what? top one percent 93rd in the world okay i don't understand how i managed to do that so cheaply maybe they went over that bit of road rather than under i don't know but all i do know is we 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 can surely save some money quite easily here. I mean, I was thinking earlier, like, could I not have any of this stuff and just have it, like, drop down? The trouble is, then it drops down, like, like, the, like it will be at the wrong height. Is it possible? I'm just wondering, like, if I were to get rid of everything and just have, like, a normal bridge down here, like what we had at the very start, but instead... Instead, we actually build it onto this because that's going to add a lot of strength. We have bridge, but then they collide. We have that thing to try and slow it down. Oh, I mean, no, it's because if it lands behind the green car, then I have the potential to use just one bridge. I've just got to work out how can I slow this down such that it lands after the green car stop going oh man this took so much tweaking just to get it to work but i think we've done it surely this has got to be like number one on the leaderboard unless someone's cheesed it somehow but yeah essentially i've come up with this weird contraption that allows it allows the truck to fall onto the car behind it and then drive across the bridge now the bridge has got to go underneath so we get under that bit of road and then you can see the car over this way it starts under there we've got a flap on top so if we just watch this in slow motion you can see it drives out then the flap comes down boosh and then the the truck can drive up there later on meanwhile over this way the car's coming across and the truck up here is sort of heading over that way this stops and then as this comes down it lands just on the the right hand side i need steel in there and a bit of road as well just to stop it breaking it rocks forward but then backwards and then it lands on its wheels drives under that bit of road and then it can get up there we've done the level for 21,500. oh wait what i beat tyler but i only saved like a few what so my last bridge was pretty much the same price or did i not beat tyler before how did so many people do it cheaper than me <laughs> i really thought i was onto something with this so in the gallery cheap oh look everyone did single bridge there's me thinking i'm a genius but what the how is that bridge so cheap 13 grand how does that not break i don't understand this one very very similar th i mean that's like identical to mine but like look how cheap what but yeah pretty much anyone that did it cheap were like oh yeah just use one bridge mat you know oh that's actually a good way of doing it even though the car completely drowns in the abyss single bridge but like for a hole for the green car to fall down no, if we just watch that again watch this green car it goes oh, through the hole and then whoop See you later, mate. I mean, to be fair, the cheapest dual road solution is still cheaper than mine. That's under 21 grand. Fair play. But, ah, look, here we go. People going over the road rather than under it. That does mean you can use the road as a support. So not all bad. Yeah, pretty much everyone's doing the over road solution now. <laughs> oh, no way. No way. They lifted the road out of the way. What? That's really cool. <laughs> Okay, let's watch that again. So I think they got they got the the chain like the wooden chain to like weight it up and lift it out. The... That's so cool. Almost as cool as the RCE propaganda. Here we got more RCE propaganda. And, oh look, there's two dogs. There's two dog heads. This one, I'm don't know if everyone else is seeing a triangle pointed tip like I am, but um, more RCE propaganda is that? An... Oh, okay. And then what is this? Oh no way. They spun it round. Oh, did they add an extra bit of road? Because I think the original road was just like that bottom half. So they added road to the top. Anyway, next time we'll be finishing this world and then going on to another one. Look, we've actually unlocked loads of worlds now. Uh, the next one in actual order is a hydraulic level. Oh, God. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and bridges. Bye, guys.